Remember that little video that we did where we talked about all the different roller coasters that we would love to see get the RMC treatment? Yeah, of course. Did it about a month ago. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what number one was? Bandit at Movie Park Germany. What's so special about Bandit at Movie Park Germany? Well, we may have gotten our first look at what the future of this ride could be. It seems like the park has heard the complaints and they are aware that the ride is too rough and something has to be done. So this comes to us from Loopings. It's a Dutch news source for the amusement industry and they did an interview with a park official talking about Bandit specifically and what the future of that attraction could be and they openly say that look this is our most popular attraction But it is also too rough. You know, they do regular wood track replacement on it They said between 400 and 500 feet every year, but they're looking for steel track replacement And there's two companies that do steel track replacement for wooden coasters RMC and GCI. And GCI, Yeah, so do you go with the iBox track or do you go with the Titan track? Obviously, RMC did that first. They were the spearheaders for the whole how do we retract wooden roller coasters with steel movement. Um, and then GCI came along and they came up with their version of that, which is the Titan track. Yeah. We've done significantly more iBox coasters because right now Titan track has been used as like a supplemental thing rather than like a we, full conversion. Yeah, we haven't had like a full conversion um, available to ride yet. So it's been like okay, let's throw this on like the roughest parts of the coaster. So in valleys or parts with like high stress points. Several attractions that you can currently experience that on include Predator at Darien Lake, uh, Boulder Dash is getting more Titan track this year, and Joris and Drock at Efteling just got some, and that's kind of where this comes in. So according to the park official, they actually rode Joris and Drock at Efteling and were impressed. And they were like, okay, this seems to be going very well for the park, so maybe this is an option. However, I think that this needs a brand new layout. And I know Titan Trek can do that. They have yeah. advertised that they can do full reprofiling. Re yeah. They can do inversions. You know, because they have new trains for that. Yep. Uh, yep. We experienced them on Zambezi Singer. They yep, could the Infinity go up, Flyers. Yeah, they can go upside down. However, RMC has been doing that for a long time now. Mm -hmm. And they have refined their process of coming up with just these fantastic layouts. It seems like every park that goes with an RMC gets just like a huge crowd of people, enthusiasts and regular people who just see it as like, wow, this is like a beautiful, yeah. huge, exciting ride. Like they get so many people through like the park gate. So logically it's a good return on investment. Yeah, you would think. But the other side of the coin is that RMCs, despite what they are advertised as, do require maintenance. Well, sure. Yeah. I mean, you're, fun you're fundamentally transforming a ride that is used to having wood track and a certain, you know, set of trains. It's, it's designed to handle a certain amount of forces. And then you have to beef up that structure to accommodate for all of this steel and a much heavier train. So and much higher forces. Yeah, exactly. So uh, of course it's going to require more maintenance. And so that's kind of the flip side of the coin here is, you know, for your, your dollar, what is worth the investment? Is it better to market this as a brand new attraction that might end up costing you more in the long run, but gives you something that's much more exciting? And, and like, if yeah. you do RMC Bandit, there's gonna be no argument that it is the best ride in the park. Where right now, if you ask probably the average enthusiast, they'll probably tell you like Star Trek is the best ride in the Which, park. Which, that's a fun ride, but I, to me, it's very much a supporting character. I think they need their main character there, you know what I mean? And the thing is like, if they were to just put Titan Track on it and they don't necessarily like reprofile and come with a whole new layout and a whole new identity for this ride, I'm not sure that people will be as gung ho about like, oh yeah, we have to go try this. I just think an RMC would be so eye catching back there. And at least in Europe, we've seen how they did that with Untamed. Previously, it was Robin Hood of a coma wind coaster. And that was a ride that was just not very popular. And now it's like the ride of that park. Now, the other option, which Clearly it's not gonna happen here is you have Gravity Group that does their pre-cut track. Uh, we've done Tenere 2 Zeus, which has that track and it's fantastic. It yeah. picks up that ride a lot. And they did do some reprofiling work. They added the wave turn and everything and it's great. But th this layout needs so much work. Yeah. Like what can we salvage from the structure and what can we turn it into now? Should they go with Titan track, it seems like the plan would be to keep the layout as is. Right. Which it's a weird scenario because Bandit is just, it's your take on the classic Coney Island Cyclone, which if you've done a Cyclone layout, that could be Viper at Six Flags Great America or the original or uh, even Georgia Cyclone down at uh, Six Flags Over Georgia back in the day. This is a layout that's very common. It's filled with a lot of bank turns. There's some airtime hills and we've seen it done well. I think that the Coney Island Cyclone is actually fantastic. But those others just don't measure up to that original. Like I know that Viper has its fans. I've always thought it was 
okay. okay. And in Georgia Cyclone, I was actually really glad to see that arm seed. And you know, that's actually probably the closest arm seed that we could draw a comparison to of what a redo of Bandit could look like. Although Georgia Cyclone did have, I want to say like 700, 800 less feet of track. So Bandit would be longer, well, which is definitely seed, a nice perk. They've gotten a lot better. Absolutely. Sure. Then. I think they would come up with a more creative layout. Yeah, well, and they don't really like clone their iBox I coasters. So it absolutely take advantage of specific moments on the attraction, like, all right, we're now gonna turn this airtime hill into a stall or a wave turn, something like that. RMC has gotten into doing like the steel trusses and everything. So like they took Wildcat at Hershey Park, which was similar in height, mm -hmm. I think. And now it's like an extra 40 feet taller because they added like the steel truss. So I don't know that they'd be as limited to size. Yeah, sure. Um, as they were before. But one other thing I, I want to mention is that these big like cyclone layouts are meant to be for everyone. Mm -hmm. In theory, wood coasters are typically less threatening mm -hmm. um, for families to all go on together. So there might be a hesitation there of like, you know, changing it into a high thrill coaster with lots of inversions and airtime and mm -hmm. They'd yada, be limiting yada. your audience. That yeah, because they have Star Trek right now that is like meant to be like the thrill coaster. Yeah. So maybe they're like, well, this might be more than we It'd want. Be too much. So maybe I don't know that they would go for this, but I know RMC did have uh, options for family coasters with the iBox track. Yeah. In theory, they could do something like that if they wanted to go like without inversions and stuff like that, and I think it would still be an amazing ride. I yeah. do. Any, it, it would be better than just keeping the current layout and throwing Titan Track on it. Now, if GCI wants to come up with a new layout and reprofile it, fine. Yeah. I'm down to see what they can do with that because we haven't seen it yet. But at the end of the day, we are RMC fans. If you <laughs> did not know that already, we do like them. Um, so I am going to say I would like to see that more, but... yeah. Yeah, well, and I mean, that ride just has, I feel like, so much potential. That's just like a beautiful canvas for something. My only concern is this is an RCCA wind coaster, which RCCA did not have the best track record when it comes to their past projects. That's why there's so few of them left. Part of me wonders if structurally it could even handle uh, the iBox system. I feel like they'd really have to beef up that structure to be able to accommodate it. At the end of the day, I think they could do it. But <laughs> that's where they're like, yeah, why don't we just bulldoze the thing and start over? <laughs> well, I mean, that's why, like, it's, it's interesting when you see, like, the original Gwazi, how dramatically that original layout changed from Iron Gwazi, what it is now. They completely changed that layout. So I think at the end of the day, it really comes out to budget. Like, what can Movie Park Germany afford? What are they willing to spend on this attraction? That's what I'm saying, that if they just are like, okay, we're gonna put some steel track on it and like, that's like- It's a temporary solution. Yeah. It's a band-aid. It's a band-aid, exactly. Yeah. Also, if you're not an enthusiast, you're very visual with these things, right? Like we know, cause we're nerds, that when we look at a piece of track, we can be like, that's different. Yeah. Whereas your average, you know, park goer, if it looks the same, it's the same. A lot of people might not realize that it even got work done if they go with GCI. Yeah. I love GCI. I think GCI makes amazing coasters. Yeah. I'm sure like one of their layouts would be fantastic if, you know, they went all steel. Yeah. But we'll have to wait and see. I, I don't think either option... They're not a bad fit. And actually, mm -hmm. I am in favor of either option. As much as like I love the Gravity Group pre-cut track, I feel like they do need a steel solution for this thing. Like, I just feel like that probably is the best route to go. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see, but I'm glad to hear that this ride is at least on the people at Movie Parks Germany's radar. It's something that they are trying to figure out and maybe in the next couple of years, we'll be able to see what direction they take. Let us know down in the comments below what you want to have happen to Bandit at Movie Park Germany. And of course, stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. And we'll see you next time.